become quite a force. Anytime you watch him play on the defensive side, you go, who is this guy? Because he has great effort, tremendous talent. He is a good pickup for any defense. The Steelers come out in a bunch set. Third and eight. Unbelievable grab. That is how you draw it up, isn't it, Phil? Oh, man, a quarterback loves guys that can make catches like this, and they're just so strong. They know how to zero in. They never lose concentration, and you've never seen drop a pass. Bell in the backfield, single back set. Now first and ten. Bell's going to secure the handoff. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. The Steelers come to the line with a bunch set. Finds Brown. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Early in this game, Phil, and already on the other side of the midfield strike. Nice job by the offense here. Good play calling, too, Jim. Mixing up the plays. The defense is off guard right now, and the offense is taking advantage of it. First down here. Bells in the backfield. Single back set. Well, the defensive line noticed something. They're all shifting to the left. They'll go ground. Bell is a great buddy back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. Play number six coming up on this drive. We're changing things here. The quarterback changing. He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. Roethlisberger standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. What a catch. One-handed. Brown's got a pair of grippers. And, of course, by that I mean hands. They are big. They are strong. And you need those to make that one-handed catch. Only nine yards to go. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Bell's going to take the handoff now. Running right through the trenches. Inside the 10 and at the 9. The Steelers come to the line and they put their receivers in a bunch formation. Second and goal from the 9. He'll throw it over the middle. Browns met after a gain of 8. Just a yard away from Pater. Third 
and go from the one. Power surge for six. Touchdown. The lead is theirs now after that trip to the end zone. That gives them some momentum here at the start, Phil. Yeah, and listen, halfway through the first quarter, you score that touchdown. Now you're leading in the game. Boy, that's a great place to be. And also, I know it's early, but you, it puts the pressure on the opposition right away. can spread you out they can run it the quarterback can keep it the pick plays the passes very tough for the defense to stop the two-point conversion patterson will test the coverage and the tackles made right around the 25 yard line well we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury let's go down to danielle bellini with the story guys i had a chance to speak with a steelers team official he does have an upper body injury of some kind but guys it doesn't appear to be a big concern the medical staff cleared him to return as soon as he feels ready back to you The Vikings will take the snap from the 25. Now on the field, the defender appears to have... Oh, the receiver has the catch. When you look at this offense, you have to acknowledge Adrian Peterson, one of the best running backs to ever play the game. Well, he's asked to do a lot for the Minnesota Vikings. I always say he's the hardest working man in the NFL because that offense has sputtered many, many times. But Adrian Peterson... He just keeps rolling along. The Steelers lined up in the nickel. Second down and ten. Here's the handoff to Adrian Peterson. As we get a look at the defensive starters, these linebackers will be counted on today to make plays in the running and passing games. This is third down. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. Johnson with the grab. Johnson's taken down at the 49. The percentages of picking up the first down in a third long situation like this are very low in the NFL. But how about that play on the offensive side? Good job. Really good first down. That should give them a lift. down following the long play they need to get the playoff and it's knocked down Defensive line, they're all shifting to the right. I think they're expecting a run. 
play clock's running down. Looking across the middle. Intercepted! That brings the play to an end. A great play by the defense, and now an opportunity to make that lead a little more comfortable before heading to the second quarter, Phil. Yeah, you know what they're doing, Jim? They're giving the team confidence, and when you get confident on the football field, you play fast and loose, and that's when you're at your best. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. First down at the 48. Barr gets to the quarterback. You know, outside linebackers, they're everything all in one. They got to be a pass rusher, uh, a pass cover guy, and they got to be able to stop the run. Nice job that time getting the sack. will take the snap from the 40. Bell takes it out of the eye. <laughs> It'll be third down. The Steelers get set at the line, needing to get to the 38 for a first. Roethlisberger from the gun throws the pass and this will be incomplete it'll be a three and out and the Steelers are ready to punt this one away Patterson's got it now gets about nine on the play the Vikings' last possession ended somewhat painfully with an interception. You wonder if they're going to try to compensate for that mistake on this drive, Phil. Well, sometimes when you have a mistake on the offensive side, it does make you get more conservative. Let's look at it from the defensive side. It was just a tremendous play. So sometimes in the NFL, that's going to happen where the defensive player is just better than the offensive player. I know you had a lot of experience at this, but after you threw an interception, what was it like coming back out of the field the next time? Well, I tell you, I tell all my teammates to be alert. You might have to tackle again because I'm going to keep firing down the field. to that last carry. The Steelers with a nickel look here on defense. Peterson, solo back set. The play clock's running down. Peterson's got it on the handball. Vikings offense is still out there as we get the second quarter underway. Third down. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. He's going to be brought down, and that's going to be a three and out for this offense. They're set to punt it away now. Set up return. Here he goes. And a run back of about five. The Steelers' offense failed to muster a single first down 
the last time they had it. Let's see if their offense this time can create a few sparks. Well, you know the coaches were upset at him when they went to the sidelines, so the sense of urgency is there. You should be fired up, and I expect a better drive this time. The Steelers will take the snap from the 30. Bell's taking the handoff. The Steelers get a first down. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. Roethlisberger set empty backfield. First down at the 43. Terrence Newman with the pick. And he's brought to the ground. Water will have it in the pistol. Peterson solo back set. The Vikings have it at the 44. He caught it. How about that? We just saw the fly run straight down the field by the receiver. Long throw by the quarterback and a nice completion. First down, offense ready for the snap. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Looking to go up top again on first down. Cameron Hayward takes down the quarterback. Well, if I was that quarterback, I'd be mad after getting sacked like that by the defensive end. Your offensive tackle's just got to do a better job. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Vikings official. They wouldn't specifically say what the injury was other than it's an upper body injury that won't stop him from returning. Back to you. The football is at the 38. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. Richwater's pass will go for an incompletion this time. That's a wonderful job that time by the secondary. Everybody's in position. Nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. And it leads to another incomplete pass. Now looking at third down. The Steelers at at the line. Dime package. The Vikings take it from the 38. Brings it into his body. Touchdown. And this game just got a whole lot more interesting. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas. And even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open to make the catches. The Steelers set to return the kick. He thinks twice about returning this one and signals fair catch. The Steelers' offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake the last time they had the ball. The turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. First down at the 20. Griffin's there to take it down. 
Bell's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, well, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. The quarterback. He's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. Antonio Brown with the catch. take it from the 33 and they take him down that's an awesome job by the outside linebacker gets a sack on the quarterback and nowadays you've got to do it all if you're an outside linebacker you've got to be tough against the run cover receivers down the field and yes plays like that get to the quarterback that leads us to second down Roethlisberger takes the snap from the gun. It's on target to Martavis Bryant. We'll set up now at midfield. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Defensive tackles, we always think of them as run stoppers. How about this that time? He does a great job, gets in there, and sacks the quarterback. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Connect there, third down. Roethlisberger comes out in the pistol. But drilled as he throws it. The Steelers really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. from the 12. He's tackled right at the 24 and a run back of about 12. The Vikings take the field again on offense. They'll be looking for a repeat of their last drive. They came away with a touchdown and really had the defense on its heels. Well, it's going to be hard to repeat what they just did because it looked so easy and it was well done by their offense. And I think when you talk about situations like this, it really comes down to one thing. Can the offensive line continue to dominate? The Vikings all bunched up here as they get set at the line. First down at the 24. He 
Petersons lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Look at the linebackers moving around. They're trying to they're trying to confuse the quarterback. Now he's going to change the play and look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. The Vikings take it from the 23. Intercepted. And he's in for the touchdown. What a play. What a run. You talking about getting your team full of emotion and getting everything on your side. How about that interception by the defense and then taking it back all the way for the score? The Steelers bringing their offense onto the field. It wasn't a very productive possession for them last time out, partner. They ended up punting. Well, you know what it was? It was a good feeling out process. So they got some knowledge by watching the defense and what defenses they tried on them. So you've got to take advantage of that knowledge and come out here and make some plays. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. The Steelers getting set for the kickoff. And now Patterson. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. The Vikings' last drive ended with an interception. So what do you think here, Phil? Will they play it a little safer this time around? Oh, I don't think so. I think what you do on the offensive side, you stay aggressive. It's not a perfect game. There's going to be mistakes and penalties, and you got to learn to overcome that adversity. So go out there, let it go, and try to score points. And there's a timeout, so we'll take one with them. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This will probably be the last play before the two-minute warning. First down at the 26. Charles Johnson with the catch. Mitchell is the one who brings him to the ground. Halftime, two minutes away. It's now second down. Let's go. Wayne Langer. Wayne Langer. Tagger. Tagger. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. Bad intercepted. Fights through contact. They bring him to the turf. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. The Steelers stalled on their last drive, forced to punt. So now the offense comes back out onto the field. Yeah, they're coming back out. They lack confidence, and I understand why. They came out, couldn't get anything done. The defense was flying around, making the plays. Uh, they got to change the tempo of this game. Ben Roethlisberger dropping back in shotgun formation. Antonio Brown has the catch. Second and one coming up. We'll go no huddle. The Steelers take it from the 33. He'll throw it over the middle. Had it for just a second, but then it came out on contact. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Third down now. When you see linebackers shipping around like this, what they're trying to do, confuse the quarterback. The Vikings call the timeout. They're first. Coming up to the line at the 13-yard line. 
Roethlisberger set in the pistol. The D-line saw something on the offense. Everybody shifting to their left. They're changing things here. The quarterback changing. He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. Touchdown. Steelers put six on the board. What a fine start to this game. Here we are late in the second quarter. They put up another touchdown, Phil. And well, they got a nice lead. They like to take this in at halftime. If you're the coach of the team that's leading at halftime, you know what you tell your players? Hey, guys, good job. Let's keep that going. You pat them on the rear and tell them how good they are because, hey, this has been a clinic so far in the first half. Patterson's running this one out. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Vikings just gave up some big turnover points. And let's see if they can hold on to the football this time, Phil, because we know how crucial it is. We talked to the coaches about it this week. This was their concern with this team. Well, if you want to stay on the field, you better quit turning it over, right, Jim? That's what they the coaches look, you you make mistakes on the field, they're gonna get they're gonna be forgiven to a point. But you've got to be smart, you've got to be efficient, and get the job done. The Steelers with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Second and ten. The Vikings now move the chains. It's first down as they head to the line. No time to waste. They hurry to the line. From the gun. Complete to Wallace. Mark him down for another reception. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Snap it out of the gun. Looking across the middle, a near interception that time by Boykin. Wallace has really hit hard that time. I know the football hit his hands, but when a defender times it perfectly like that, with that much power and speed going into that receiver, you are going to let that football go. That's human nature. Really good job by the defensive player. The Steelers go with the dime formation here on defense. Bridgewater's back in shotgun formation. And ball is out. This one's going back the other way. Phil Sims, this team just does not know how to step up to this occasion today as they give the football away on the fumble. Uh-oh. Are you telling me the moment was too big for them, that they couldn't handle the pressure, all those types of things? Well, you know what? You might be right. They have been awful so far here today. Look out, they're changing the play to take advantage of something they see on the defensive side. And they get the sack. There's a couple ways to get to the quarterback. Run over the tackle or run around him. It doesn't matter as long as you get the sack. Roethlisberger from the gun. It's complete to Martavis Bryant. Now the offense in the hurry up. First down and ten. Roethlisberger going down the field. Rhodes is there and picks it off. The first half is complete. Larry Ridley ready to take things over back in the studios. And you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The second half of this lopsided affair is underway. Patterson's got a chance for a return. Ball is out. Picking up the fumble. And now he's on the move. 
one of the reasons why you put all those fast guys on your kicking team so when that football comes loose like it did then your guys can react and recover the fumble the Steelers offense now will try to sustain a drive after giving the ball away just a few minutes ago before their defense came up with a play to return the pigskin. And they should thank the defense, bailing them out of trouble getting that turnover. You're right, they're just giving the football away, not being conscious of holding it the right way. It's just been sloppy play on the offense. Kendricks all over that offense. That brings him down. Steelers running back that time. He makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards, take advantage of that. He tries the big play, what happens? He gets tackled for a loss. Loss of two on that play. The line of scrimmage is the 16. Roethlisberger's setting up now in the pistol. The Steelers lined up. Bunch formation. Bells handed the football. The Steelers have really been dominant today on the offensive side. In the red zone now, they just take the football and they run it right at the defense and pick up solid yards. Third down on the way. Quarterback sees something in his defense he wants to take advantage of. The Steelers in for the touchdown. And that touchdown puts them in the driver's seat. Early stages of the second half. You know, somewhere along the line, you got to take a stand and you just got to say, I've had enough. And on, on the defensive side, they didn't do that that drive. So maybe the, they could come out on the offensive side, find a way to score some points and get back into this game. Patterson's got it on the return. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Vikings offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. The Steelers' defense now is going to go nickel. The Vikings take it from the 23. He's got the catch. That's a really good throw and catch, and they get the first down, Jim. That's what you want to do. Pick up that first down. Now you give your offense three more opportunities. Let's go. Vikings snap it at the 41. Bud Dupree with the sack. Outside linebackers in the NFL, they are such tremendous athletes. They can do everything. How about that play that time? Good move, good speed. Gets to the quarterback and gets a sack. The Vikings have it at the 34. Throws the pass. That's a gain of 10. When you play zone in the NFL, what you're trying to do is make the quarterback hold the football just for a half a second longer, and you hope the pass rush can get there. They don't that time. That's why he got the completion. The Vikings have it at the 44. Intercepted. A foot race to the end zone. The 10 taking it all the way home for the touchdown. When a defense intercepts a pass like that and scores a touchdown, boy, does that give them hope. Gives them a lot of confidence. They really get the momentum on their side, and it's going to be hard for the offense to come out here and do anything after that play. The Vikings are ready to return the kickoff. will test the coverage and the tackles made right around the 25 yard line 
The Vikings are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way. That turnover led to turnover points. And now let's see if the offense can get that back, Phil. Yeah, listen, I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time, the coaches took them to the sideline and just gave them heck. That's for sure. That's a good way of seeing it. So motivation. Can't make those kind of mistakes. You've got to go out there and be much better. Bridgewater's got it in the gun. Makes the catch, but didn't get the feet down. Incomplete. The Steelers will come out in the dime. Let's go. Way Navy. Way Navy. Bridgewater's going to take it from the gun. Johnson with the grab. That's a gain of eight. The Vikings do a good job that time on second down. They don't force the football down the field. They throw it short. They pick up some solid yards to make it a good situation for them. Third and short. The Vikings take it from the 33. incomplete and they fail to pick up a first down on this series the Vikings believe they can pick up the first in this short yardage situation and keep the offense on the field The Vikings take it from the 33. They'll throw it over the middle. Rudolph's marked down at the 41. Well, you're really in a tough spot. That is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do is just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. First down on the way. The Vikings at the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. From the shotgun. He's hit as he throws it. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. Bridgewater's ready for the snap. Let's empty go. backfield. From the gun. Takes the hit. Throws. Well, I think it's important for the defense. Anytime it's a third and long situation for the offense to know where those first down markers are. Give a little ground and make sure you're able to come up and make the tackle short of the first down marker. Play number six coming up on this drive. The Steelers defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dying defense. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. Third and ten. Got hit on release. Phil, this team has been menaced all game long on third down. They cannot figure out a way to pick up a first. Well, listen, I can't figure out what menaced means. I, I, I got to start bringing a dictionary with me to the games I'm doing with you. You throw out all these big words, but if you mean they've been bad, then I agree. And the fair catch is made. The Steelers have done a whale of a job taking their halftime lead and adding a whole lot more to it here in the third quarter. Yeah, they're just doing everything we saw them do in the first half. Just dominating the pace of play and just being more physical than the defense.
midway into the third. To the outside, Bell. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. Bell's going to secure the handoff. Kendricks able to read that play and make the hit. Vikings defensive coordinator, my gosh, he is one happy guy. Anytime you get in the backfield and stop a runner and make him lose yards, that's some good stuff. On the way, third down. Bell takes his spot in the backfield. And after only three plays, that incompletion brings us to fourth down. They're in punting formation. Patterson's got a chance this time. Games 16. Patterson, such a great athlete. You've got to find ways to get the football to him. Here's another way to get it to him. On a punt return, how explosive is he? Man, very. That's the answer. Jim, look at that. The defensive line now shifting to the right. First down at the 43. Peterson up the middle. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Adrian Peterson is in the backfield. Trying to beat the play clock. McClendon has the sack. Well, we know one thing. If you're a defensive tackle, you got power. And it was on display that time. Wonderful job by the big fella. Busting through there and getting the sack on the QB. It's third down coming up. The Steelers come out in a dime package. The quarterback, he's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. And it'll be Locke back to punt it away. Looking for a lane on the return. And a run back of about seven. The Steelers have extended their halftime lead, and they haven't wasted any time in doing so as they continue to motor up and down the field. You know, this is what you got to do in this league now. When you got it, when it's going well on the offensive side, don't slow down, don't get conservative, keep it going, try to score points, and just dominate the other team. First down at the 16. Bell's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. With a minute to go in the third quarter, it's second down. Second and nine. Bell will get it on the toss. Smith's there to make the tackle. The Steelers' offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, 
But what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job on the offensive line. This is third down. The Steelers come out and a bunch set. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. And that incompletion is going to bring us to a very quick fourth down. All set to punt here. Patterson's got it on the return. Picks up eight here. The Vikings offense is on the field, hoping to erase the memory of their last drive, which was completely unproductive, a quick three and out. Yeah, it was. I don't know if they can erase this defense. This defense is pretty good. We saw that in the last drive. They got good players, and they're pretty excited, so this is going to be tough on the offense. When you see linebackers moving around like this, that means they're probably going to blitz. Peterson, solo back set. First down at the 44. And they are in on Peterson. Ends up picking up seven. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Peterson lines up in the backfield. Look at that. The defensive line, everybody's shifting to the right. Adrian Peterson takes the football. And the tackle is made at the 41. Well, that'll make you feel a little better finally getting the first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. First and ten. Looking across the middle. Give that tackle to Lawrence Timmons. Jim here in the fourth quarter, when you're down, what you want to do is just keep that football moving. That time it's a short throw, he gets a completion. Good job. Following that completion, second and short. Now he's going to change the play. Look out. I think he's going to go down the field with the football. They better hurry to get the snap. That'll be five yards. Delay of game. Adrian Peterson is in the backfield. The Vikings snap it at the 36. Almost made the catch, but the collision jarred it loose. You might as well catch it because you're going to take the big hit no matter what. That time, the receiver lets the ball go because he was worried about the defender making the hit. Set up now at the 36. Bridgewater will have it in the pistol. Third and six. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. We're early in the fourth, and with this big lead, the defense may be called upon again on fourth down. Yeah, I think they will be. I think the offense is going to go for it here. Why not? They've done nothing right all day long, so if they don't make it, it's not going to make it any worse. But I don't like their chances. The defense has been sound all day long. The Vikings from the 37. Looking long to Mike Lovis. Touchdown, Vikings. Not many quarterbacks this league can throw that type of pass. Throw it high in the air, far down the field, and have it just drop in there right on the target. Beautiful throw for the touchdown. The Steelers set to return the kick. It's Todman taking a knee, so this will come out to the 20. 
the Steelers offense comes back onto the field. Let's see if they can move the chains this time because the last possession was ugly. They weren't out there very long. Jim, you know how I think in situations like this, I think it's more up to the coach than the players. Call a play that really catches the defense off guard so you can get an easy gain and get the momentum on your side and get it rolling. Give that last stop to Chad Greenway. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. The Steelers will take the snap from the 25. Bell's tackle right at the 35. Good job by the offense here with a good lead in the second half, picking up that first down, and that's what you want to do. Take your time, look at the play clock, take it down as low as you can, and keep picking up those first downs. First and ten. Looking at every option. He's drilled as he throws. Here we have second down. Bell in the backfield, single back set. Gets the handle here. That picks up seven. He's now over 80 yards rushing on the day. And the timeout is called, so we're going to take a quick break and return in just a moment. It'll be third down. They go screen with Bell. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. This team, one of the better tackling teams in the NFL, and they play the situation perfectly. They give up the short completion. They come up and make the tackle. Now we have a fourth down. Patterson's going to look for space now. They'll mark him at the 22. That returns good for about 12. The Vikings offense taking the field again. They got everything they could out of that last possession, Phil. That was a solid touchdown drive. Yeah, just look at them, Jim. The way they've run onto the field, you can see they're exuding confidence. When you got a confident football team, man, let them go and let them play and see if they can make it happen again. Peterson lines up in the backfield. First down at the 22. Peterson trying to fight through right at the middle of the field. And it'll be second down at six after the running play on first down. The Steelers' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Over the middle and incomplete that time. Man, the quarterback, the coaches, his teammates, everybody loves to see a player give that type of effort. How about the receiver just going all out to make the catch? Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. Third down. The Vikings come to the line. First down marker is at the 32. The Steelers sat at the line. Dime package. Drop back. Shotgun formation. He's got the catch. 
That's a third down conversion, a rare sight so far today. They're in the hurry up mode. The Vikings have it at the 39. Wright's got it. And on a pass, has some heat on it. After the long game, let's see what they do here. The defensive line now shifting to a spread look. They're going to try to pressure the quarterback on this play. They need to get the playoff. Two minutes remaining, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Steelers with two extra defensive backs in the dime. First down at the 35. Reaches out and snatches it. The pass play picks up only two. So now it's second down and eight following the completion. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. The Vikings take it from the 33. Johnson's got it. First down. Play number six coming up on this drive. Holding on to the timeout. He'll rush back to the line. Hurry up. Two-minute offense. Now first and ten. And Wallen's going to pull in the bullet pass. The Vikings offensive coordinator does a good job that time calling the pass. Down here in the red zone, caught the defense off guard. They got the completion for a good game. Second down here. Bridgewater's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Pass is intercepted. Going to take it the distance. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Going to take it home for the touchdown. you got to love a defense. It's not afraid to take chances. And this defense will get after it. That time they get the interception and return it all the way for a touchdown. And the extra point is good. The Vikings are ready to return the kickoff. Patterson will test the coverage. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Vikings take the field on offense. They have been manhandled here throughout today, Phil. And what can they take out of these last few minutes that could be positive for them? Well, you know, Jim, in a situation like this, there's really nothing you can do now that's going to make you feel better or give you something to carry over into next week. So don't be looking for it. Try to end the game and just know today the team on the other side beat you up and they were the better team. And Wallace got it on a pass that had some heat. All you can do is your job. That was a good job by the offense. Picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. First down at the 42. Looking wrong. That ball has been picked off. Phil, can you believe the defense steps up and makes the interception to clinch it for him today? Oh, they love this. Nothing like winning a game with a defensive play to ice everything. And I give the defense all the credit. Just a great play on their part. Takes the knee. Bill, before we go, how about this win? How much will this one count? You know, Jim, all wins are nice. This one was done easy. You didn't have to sweat too much over it. You feel good, and you just enjoy the next couple days.
So for Bill Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.